In this workbook, we have a list of names, and on a different sheet, I can select a specific number of those names at random. This is Deborah Dalglish from Contextures.com. On the selection sheet, I've got a formula in cell D3 that uses if error and the sequence function to create a list of numbers. We'll run from 1 to the number that we have here. So if I type a 5, the list shows 5 numbers. Those numbers aren't needed for the random draw, but they show at a glance who's in which position. In this cell, I'm going to create a formula step-by-step step, that lets us select a specific number of names from our list in random order. The first part of the formula will create an array of random numbers. And to do that, I'll start with equal rand array. It wants to know how many rows and columns. We want a specific number of rows based on how many names are in the list. And to get the count of those names, I'm going to use the count a function. Then I'll go to my list, just click at the top of this column. The table is named TBL names B, and this column is named. Close that bracket for the count a function, close the bracket for rand array. And there's a list with our 20 random numbers. We want to sort the names based on these random numbers. So I'm going to combine the column of names and this column with random numbers. So I'll click right after the equal sign. And I'm going to use the H stack function, which will stack these two columns across horizontally. Going to the names and a comma, and that random set of numbers, close that, and now we can see the name, and each name has a random number. The next thing we want to do is sort that list by those random numbers. Go back to this cell, click after the equal sign, sort. The array is this set of names and numbers, comma. The sort index is column two, close that, and now we can see these random numbers are in order and the names are in random order. And the final step is to get just the first column with the names and we only want this many rows. So I'm going back to the formula cell, click after the equal sign and for this I'll use the take function. The array is everything we've built up so far, comma, and the number of rows that we want is for whatever's in cell B3. Close the bracket, and there's our five rows. I'm going back to that formula, and now we want to click right at the end here, and a comma. The number of columns we want is one. Press Enter, and now we have five rows of names. And if I change the number, I get a different list of names.